Hello guys, welcome back in Cool IT Help and this is the MongoDB tutorial part 2. So the agenda of this tutorial is we will learn how to create the database in MongoDB. So I will give you the practical demo. So first we will open command prompt as a administrator. Okay, once the command prompt is open, so, so the step 1 that we will perform we will start the MongoDB server first. So we have to type a simple command to start the MongoDB server. So here's the command we have to type net start MongoDB and press enter. So this is the very basic command you have to type here on the command prompt. So I'm going to do this net start MongoDB and hit enter. Once you hit enter you will see this message. The requested services already been started because right now this MongoDB server is running that's why we got this message otherwise you will get the message that MongoDB service has been initialized okay so we are ready to go with the MongoDB now we will see the second step so in the second step we will navigate to the bin folder so the purpose of uh, going inside the bin folder that there we will copy that path and uh, we will go inside the bin folder and there we will run a command mongo to open the mongo shell so i am copying this folder from this place and uh, go back to the console and type cd and uh, paste the path up to bin folder and press enter okay once you press enter you will inside the bin folder so right here we can give a command to start the mongo shell okay in the mongo shell we can perform the creation of database insert record and we can perform the query on mongodb okay Now in the step 3, to open the shell, we have to use a sing single command which is mongo and that will open the mongo shell. Okay, so I will perform the step 3. You will see this message, the mongo shell version is 4.2.2 and you will see these information and the prompt is ready. Now we can type some commands to create the database in this mongodb server. So the shell is open right now here. So the guys, this is the process. You can open the shell. Now we will see step four. So in the step four, we will <coughs> learn to create a database. There is a very simple command. So we can use the simple command and we will create the database. So the command is use command. So guys, how you will use? You have to type use and the database name. So the magic of this command is that if you have not created this database, if this the given name of the database does not exist in the DB server, so that will be created and you will switched on that database. So the current working database will be selected. So see this command here. I'm going to type something use my company. So right now I'm trying to create a new database which has a name my company so I have typed this command and hit enter and you will see the message switched to the DB my company because my company doesn't exist and that is created and now the current database in use is my company now I can perform some insert operation here okay Suppose in uh, any situation or at any instance of time you want to check on which database you are working so you have to type the command db and press enter and you will see the current working database name here. So there is one more useful command which will display all the available database inside this db server. That is very simple command and I will show you. So guys simply type show space db is and hit enter and you will see 
the available database inside this DB server admin config and local but you have not seen the my company database that we have created in the our line okay so why this is not appearing because this size is zero still it ha don't have any document inside it that's why it is not showing here to display the my company in this list we have to insert one record okay so we will type simple command db dot employee dot insert so guys i am typing this thing db dot employee so employee is a collection it's just like a table and inside the table i am inserting one record so i put a dot insert and this is json structure field is name so i have to give the name as a string so the name is given sam put a comma and then i will use a new field age which is 30 curly braces and this bracket close and hit enter so we are inserting one record okay and this record going inside the employee collection I hope uh, you guys are aware about the collection documents and fields if you have seen my previous video if you have not seen you can get the link in the description and just watch that video and you you will get the clarification about the document and I will press enter and uh, the, uh, the console will print this thing write result and inserted one that means the record one record is inserted in the employee collection so we can verify this thing so simply <clears throat> now we will check again by typing the show DBs and you will see my company database is in the list so this is the list of all DBs available in the MongoDB server right now okay so you guys have seen that we have inserted one record and the database is displayed in the list so this is the way you can create the DB inside the MongoDB server and you can display the DB or you can switch to the current DB so all these commands are useful I hope all these are clear to you if you have doubt so please comments I will try my best to reply as soon as possible and guys if you found this video useful so please like this video and please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon if you want the latest video updates from my channel and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help